everyone. I'm Shadi, and I'm here today with Adam, our general manager of North America. And we're really excited to have a conversation with a couple of our amazing sellers. So we have T.A. Ewart from The Value Comics and Ashley Mulder from The Millennial Mouse to share some of their insights with us. To start, Ashley and T.A., can you guys share just a little bit about your journey, your stores, and how you've been able to start selling on eBay? Um, I, so I know for myself, I've always had a, a passion for fashion. That sounds really cliche. Um, <laughs> uh, ever since I was very young, um, since about 10 years old, I attended, well, and then I attended um, Fashion Institute of Technology mm -hmm. in New York. Um, worked in the retail industry for a while and then um, needed to, I had all these extra clothes, needed to make some extra cash. So I started selling on um, eBay and six years later, now I've, I'm um, approaching about 10,000 items sold. Oh my gosh, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Tia, what about you? Uh, uh, comic books have been a lifelong hobby, always loved them, and I was in a position where I needed to put my son through school to finish his tuition. Mm -hmm. uh, one thing led to another, and I started selling comic books in order to facilitate that. Uh, yeah. That was over eight years ago, and now wow. still doing it, and I was fortunate enough to receive an up and running grant, which really helped me in furthering my business. Congratulations. That's amazing, and I love to hear how you're able to take a hobby and really turn that into a, into a thriving business. Uh, one of the phrases that Jamie, our CEO, loves to use is this idea of an accidental entrepreneur. Uh, and I think that sounds like that perfectly uh, encapsulates uh, your journeys as well. 100%. I know you guys met earlier and were sharing stories about your customers and some of the similarities that you share. Can you actually share with us? Um, so I think where we found a similarity that we did not realize that we had was, um, even though I'm selling fashion, stuff like that, I'm also trying to target newer generations that are coming mm -hmm. in who are very much, um, they want the aesthetics, they want the trends. They're shopping yeah. for trends, not just necessarily for functional clothing. Right. So they're shopping, right. um, and they also are shopping for vintage a lot of times as well. And when you're shopping for vintage, you're shopping for trends, you're really focusing, you're, you're searching, you're looking for things with a collector's mindset. Um, you're looking for very specific things, very specific, you know, trends, stuff like that. So, which has a big crossover with comic books. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, comic book or collectors overall, they know what they want. Right. And so where a lot of people would just think they're buying it because it's a Superman comic, <laughs> a cook is like, no, I want to know if the Scooby-Doo first appearance, the wow. ad is in that. And so they can be very deliberate, very prescriptive, but that's what they want and that's what try to give them at the end of the day. I love that. Who would have known? Collectors in both categories. Yeah. It's super interesting how you talk about like the details really matter when you've got a real enthusiast buyer like that, right? That's amazing. Um, now, I know that both of you are expert listers. As you talk about, you've got to get to those details yeah. for this enthusiast buyer. They're really looking for something specific. Um, and so you're, you're already creating some great listings. Now, one of Shaudi's team's mm -hmm. great achievements this year has been a lot of the introduction of new AI tools into our selling flows, uh, including the AI auto description tool. Is that something you've used yet? Any thoughts as kind of like, you know, some real experts on the value that that brings? Any gaps to it that Shaudi can take the team away <laughs> to go and improve on? Don't um, be shy. <laughs> um, so I have tested it. Yes. Um, it was a little bit lengthy and wordy for yeah. me. Um, so it wasn't necessarily something that I technically adapted, but um, as far as it goes, I think if you're trying to understand some of the keywords you're looking for, some of the things that you should be including in your mm -hmm. listing, your keywords, I do think it gives you a great running start to pare it down and be able to channel it that way. That's great. That's great. And thank you for that feedback. We're <laughs> continuously improving and, and our prompt engineers are refining that capability so that we can meet your needs. Yeah. Awesome. TA, have you tried it out? Yeah. For myself, I find that if it's an item I'm unfamiliar with, yep. it's a very good place to start. Awesome. Uh, there's a lot of information. As was said, I can always pare it down to my needs, uh, but it's a lot easier than me having to go and locate right. and build it up myself. So for things that I'm doing for the first time, it's very, very helpful. That's great to hear. Yeah, I think it takes a lot away, away a lot of the, sometimes the backwards research that we do sometimes right. looking for an item. Yep. Um, I know, for example, it took me quite a bit of research that I accidentally found this jacket um, 
that was it was a billabong jacket, yes. basic jacket. <laughs> um, you would I was expecting to sell it for pretty yeah. cheap, sell it fast. Um, but based off my research, because I was doing all that, I found that it was actually worn by Bella Swan on Twilight. Wow. It sold for a lot of money within like a day. <laughs> that's, and that's amazing. Stuff I all found through research that hopefully AI can help with. Yeah, definitely. We, we're working on that. Yeah. <laughs> Twilight core, right? Yes. <laughs> Very popular. Ashley's been teaching me a whole lot about the number of core. Yeah, that's right. that Barbie. No and yes, yes, there's there's a new one every week, I feel like. <laughs> <laughs> totally, totally. And so tapping into some of those trends as they're coming out there, like how do you think about that when you're creating a listing? Like what, what sort of general tips might you have about what else it takes to create a great listing out there? And maybe any other feedback around things that we could be doing to make that easier to create a, a great listing overall? Again, going back to the collective mindset, what I try mm -hmm. to do on the, my initial listing is to give as much detail as possible. Yeah. So anything that I think over time, they increase the amount of characters that we could have. Right. So I love the fact that I can yeah. put more information and one, it, it stands out, but then yes. two, the person who's looking for it can see exactly what they're looking for and now I can click on and yeah. now I can tap right into what it is that I'm going for. So those things are really helpful. It's great. We also increased the number of photos from 12 to 24. Yeah, also year. very helpful. Okay, that's great to hear. Um, and I think for me too, I know um, I know my descriptions are very basic bullet point and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But I think with titles trying to enhance, um, I know sometimes we try and stick with like the facts of the item, like it's a long sleeve shirt or something like yeah. that. But um, including some of the aesthetics and trends that go with it, you know, such as fairy goth or fairy grunge is another one. Oh my gosh. Um, including some of those has been super helpful for me as well. Yeah, I love mm -hmm. that. You shared a story of how you added fairy yes, I had grunge this or fi fairy goth? Fairy goth for okay. that one. I yeah. had a pretty basic top, but I was like, this is this feels like fairy goth to right, me. Right, right. Um, after kind of looking up what fairy goth was, I, I had to do that. <laughs> okay. um, Glad I'm not the only one. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I was like short for keywords. So I was like, you know, I want to include keywords in here. I didn't necessarily think about it for eBay, yeah. but I was like, I want to try it and see. My view skyrocketed, sold within two days. That's amazing. I never expected it for eBay. That's amazing. I expected the buyer to be searching very generic, plain terms. Right, mm -hmm. right, t-shirt. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, very that's, specific. And that's one of those things I think where we're, you know, it's so important for us to keep, mm -hmm. uh, keep up with as new generations are coming into e-commerce, how they might be searching differently from, uh, from and shopping differently from how they might have in the past. Yeah. Um, I think the other thing we know that as we look at new generations coming in is the importance of those images. We sort of talked about making yeah. sure we've got now more images available for people. Um, just launched the new or uh, AI uh, empowered background removal tool yes. as well, uh, which is awesome. But uh, any other thoughts about kind of like the, the, how it, the role images play, any things we could be do doing differently to to help communicate through imagery to uh, to our buyers? Oh, uh, for what I saw with comic mm -hmm. books, um, it would be great if I could upload images mm -hmm. and eBay would be able to isolate the image and say, well, based on these images, this is what we can expect the condition of this book to be because it brings a third party into the system. So it's not just my say so, it's also right. eBay. And of course, uh, the trust goes yeah. more into the overall product and people probably more willing to buy. So that's something I would love to see. I love that. I mean, it goes very much in hand with kind of what we've been doing in many of the other categories to try and build trust with programs like the Authenticity Guarantee, or Guaranteed Fit in, uh, in the Motors P&A space. Uh, so yeah, I love the idea of how we can start to use imagery to, to build trust in other categories as well. Yeah, totally. And we also just recently introduced new condition grading in trading cards to kind of help sellers be more specific about the condition to help you convert buyers. Um, now, Ashley, what advancements would you love to see and to, to give buyers and to create an experience that is more personalized and tailored to, to their needs? Um, well, I think it's important to focus on the fact that, you know, fashion isn't just for everybody, it's for everybody. Totally. Yes. So being able to have a way to visualize different items on different body types would be really great because you want to know how yeah. it's going to fit. That way yeah. you can eliminate returns and stuff like that. And obviously when you get the item, you really want to be able to just wear it. Totally. You know, so having a way to be able to visualize that would be really great because, I mean, right now I feel like the best way to kind of display clothing a lot of times is just flat lay. Yeah. You know, it's kind of hard because there's only so many um, mannequins or right. bus forms that you can buy to right. really compensate for that. So I think that would be really great. 
Yeah, that's something that we're exploring and hoping that uh, AI can help us create those sort of renderings and and really make the listings come to life for for buyers so they can kind of visualize it because it is so hard to see, you know, just a, a dress on a floor. It's hard to visualize what that might look like. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Thanks for sharing that. Mm -hmm. So I think we're coming close to time, but I think to wrap us up, we'd love to actually steal one of Zach Zhaudi's favorite questions to ask <laughs> sellers. If you've got a magic wand, there's one thing that you can fix with eBay, uh, what would that be? TA, any thoughts? Ladies first. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say, uh, especially because I am in fashion, some standardized um, image guidance mm. of this is what you should be including in every listing, and this is also how it should look. So whether the standard be a flat lay, flat lay of front, back, tag, stuff like that. Yeah. So that way every listing is, it might be different, but it's still standardized. And that way you know what you're getting. Awesome. Start to get a bit more consistency through the experience. Yes. Yeah. 100%. Uh, Yay? Well, I wanted to go for top rated plus, but the 30 day returns ah. is a hard one for me to know that 29 days later, I might deal mm. with the return, but that's me. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing your feedback. We really appreciate the time and uh, can't wait to be introducing some of those features and capabilities for you very soon. Thank awesome. you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.